there's been a reason why I hadn't really spoke on Tentacion and his alleged death. You know, I kind of sit back and I observe and I watch and I wait to see, you know, how things turn out. But there's a lot of things that seem quite suspicious to me. OK, uh, first of all, there's too many conflicting stories about what happened. First, he allegedly left the motorcycle business because he's going to buy a motorcycle. He came out two dudes on a motorcycle on a motorcycle at a motorcycle shop decided to do a drive-by and shoot him and kill him they gone right second story is the fact that he went to buy a motorcycle he's coming out next you know two or more guys decided to come up you know he fought with the dudes right totally different than the first story but he fought with the dudes dudes end up shooting him taking the bag of money they gone but the question that was in my mind was, if he fought with these dudes, why was he still sitting in the car? And why didn't I see any blood? Now, I've heard people say the reason why there was no blood was because of the fact that he was shot in the neck. Okay, being shot in the neck with a military grade firearm and there's no blood on his shirt, there's no blood nowhere. And plus how he was just kind of like laying, you know, in the car, right? But I didn't say nothing. I allowed everybody else to make their videos. And another thing too is the moms didn't seem too broken up over his death. And to date, I have not heard of a funeral. When was his funeral? Or when will his funeral be? Now, when I left home, before I just left home, there's a video that just dropped maybe a couple hours ago. And it's him walking through this church, looking at himself in a casket, and he's rapping about suicide. Now, people could say it was something, a project he was working on before he died, but if that was the case, this is a odd time to really release that video he's going to release that video right after he allegedly got killed and before he got killed he actually spoke on his death okay so there's a lot of little things in there that don't seem right so do you guys think that Tentacion um faked his death do you think his death was actually faked by him now i know people say like well the police was there, it was in the news, they got suspects, but the way things are today, it's not it's not a hard thing to pay somebody off. You could pay people off, man. You could pay the, the police department off. That's just historical, man. You could pay the media because the media has earned a reputation for lying. Okay, so the media can be paid off. Okay, so that's not a hard thing to do. Okay, so... I like doing that. I had to do it. This is a sweet knife, though. This is a sweet Mechtech. Very sweet knife. It's spring action. Gold. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nice knife, man. I like this. I've been playing with it, and it's sharp. This thing is, this thing is sharp. But if you guys want one of these, the link is on the bottom. I know this is a little change, but the link is on the bottom. Uh, protectiveknives.com. You can get that at protectiveknives.com. Okay, but anyway, it's sweet. I just like I've been playing with this thing all day, man. It's the, you know, a spring action knife. It's not a switchblade, spring action, so it's legal, right? But anyway, but I just think that it's just, you know, just quite weird, man. That that all of a sudden he come out with this video, and uh, he's walking up to himself in a casket, and this guy, his mindset was surrounded by death, and he enjoyed fighting, and he looked like death. He looks like a demon possessed person. All right, but I'm going to put the link on the bottom and you guys check it out for yourself and you tell me if this dude did not fake his death. And I wouldn't be surprised, man. And I and I'm not I'm not one of those people that's like Tupac is still alive, Biggie's still alive. I was at Biggie's thing down in Brooklyn, man. So I big, big Biggie's dead, right? Uh, Elvis Presley, you know, people still saying Elvis Presley is alive. So I'm not one of those kind of people that do that. But 
I kind of sit back and watch and observe, man. And I hadn't made no videos. I hadn't even spoken on it because it just seemed like something is not right with that. I didn't see no blood and just him laying in the car. And, and if there was another person that was in there, why would they leave this person and not kill that person? And that was like a part of the third story. There was another individual. Why need to kill that person? And if they were spraying this dude, man, why didn't he get hit? And why wasn't his car shot up? So it's a lot of holes in that. So check out the link on the bottom. It's a video where it just dropped maybe a couple of hours ago. And you feedback and you tell me what you think until next time. Peace.